to another episode of the Dumpster Diaries. I am Moses Wartooth, and I am here with... Justin Allen. And we are ready to talk some shit yet again. We got another round of stories and fucking just tidbits of knowledge that is really going to fucking blow you away. <laughs> so, without further ado, Justin, what do you got for us? Oh, I don't know, man. It's living life, dude. Um... You know, I talked about it on the last show, man, but I saw that Oppenheimer movie. Oh, yeah. Fuck, how was that? Dude, it was it was really good, actually, yeah. man. Yeah, it's uh, not an action movie by any means. So, like, you know, I kind of went into it. I was like, oh, you know, atomic bombs, explosions, war clips. Killing Japanese. Not really any of that there. <laughs> not, really, not a lot of not a lot of Jap killing in there, dude. Mm. <laughs> no, they, uh, it's, it's more of like a personal drama uh, about Robert Oppenheimer, like, the, oh, like like his life or just, yeah yeah it kind of okay. starts like from when he first gets into college and then how he got into the program and then all the repercussions after the program and all that so i mean it, it was it was really good i do have a correction to make to the last episode though the actor who plays him i mispronounced his name uh, i said it was cillian murphy it is actually killian murphy killian yeah that's a pretty cool name yeah i know right <laughs> like uh i don't know the, the k's and the c's man like they throw me off you know like sometimes they're like pronounced like like an s sound or like yeah, you know yeah. what i mean it's like wind like what is this like what are the rules for that you know what i mean but i wonder what fucking ethnicity that name is I, I, he's like irish oh like okay. irish irish yeah he's like not even yeah. an american and all that so he's actually a cool dude like actor wise like in his personal life um like he played in like an irish punk rock band for like the longest time and shit shit but like his roles are always so serious you know, but I guess in his personal life, he's a pretty he cool dude. He gets off off the set and he's like, fuck the system. <laughs> <laughs> like that Rage Against the Machine yeah. shit. Yeah, man. So uh, it, it was good. It was good. Uh, you know, it really got me like thinking. I was like, man, like what a crazy time in American history. You know? I mean, world history in general, but in American history, you know, and it, it talks about how, you know, the Soviets were developing a bomb and we were like, oh shit, like it was like crunch time. Yeah, like we gotta get on this. Yeah. And I I never pieced it together. I guess I should have known it, but like, did you know that Hitler was already dead by the time we dropped the atomic bomb? I never really even thought about it. Yeah. Now that now you say it, you think of it, you're like, oh yeah. shit, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, uh, Hitler had been dead for like, I think like two years. <laughs> like the war was essentially over, damn near, right? And, you know, so there was like the whole debates on like whether or not we should have even dropped these bombs i mean obviously we should have because that shit ended like what a couple days later was it two days afterwards they were like oh <laughs> yeah. we, uh, don't even get me started on japan dude like i like i love japan now and i love japanese people like it's great food great culture like all the other stuff right but i mean like what they did to us man like that shit just like pisses me off the more i think about it you know like it was like a total like bitch slap like they so i don't know how much you know about like world war ii and like how we really got into it but the Japanese, like, they sent, like, their whole navy across the Pacific. Uh, like, just literally a chain of ships. And they traveled for 10 days to get to where they could jump off and be close enough to Pearl Harbor to bomb, right? And it was so secret that even the crew didn't even know what they were doing. Like, 10 they just... days on amphetamines and rice. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, when they, they bombed, right, and... So, obviously, that was, you know, like, a total, like, sneak attack or whatever. It kind of came upon us. And there's like, some debates on how we handled it and stuff like that. And if some people believe we actually knew it was going to yeah, happen. Yeah, I was going to say, I heard that someone, like, tried to alert. Like, someone knew something and we just kind of, like, shot them down. Yeah. And we were like, yeah. no, like, that's not that's not true or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And they're, like, uh, I believe, like, the commander of the base, oh, I cannot remember that guy's name. He was just like, that's impossible. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I think he was actually, like, playing golf when the shit went down. <laughs> and there's, like, he was like... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. But, like, Japan, like, they did, like, I mean, they're a small country. So, like, they did not have the military to go up against us, like, yeah. at all. So, like, they were, like, debating on so bombing. they do that sneaky shit. Sneaky sneaking, you know? And, like, so there was a whole debate on, you know, how, you know, Japan is going to attack the United States. And one thing I did like about it, um, General, I think his name was Komodo. Uh, he was, like, the head general, like, in charge of all this in Japan. It, he actually advocated against the bombing of Pearl Harbor because it was not an honorable act. Oh. You know, because they were like, this is not how, like, a Japanese warrior fights. You well, know? what about the kamikaze shit? They were totally cool with that? <clears throat> I mean, that's, like, a very, like, honorable thing, I guess. Like, that's but, like, just, how like, is that any different? I'm going to kill myself But they, the I mean, cause. But if they're going to, like, bomb some shit... 
they I mean I guess they could have just blew their brains out in the plane after they dropped the bomb. Like I mean they've they've crashed they, those planes they died like, straight up. Yeah. Well I mean like how is that how is that dishonorable if killing your I mean they died anyways. I'm not Japanese. <laughs> we need a Japanese guy. <laughs> we gotta, gotta bring in a Japanese guy. Totally uh, off guard, just start berating him about Pearl Harbor. Yeah. But like uh what was interesting is like Winston Churchill, right? Like he like he wanted the United States to get into the war, right? And he was like, You have to like get in. So like apparently whenever he found out, like none of this is in the movie, this is just shit that I've like read about or seen in documentaries over the years. Um apparently when he found out about Pearl Harbor, he like basically celebrated. He was, like, he was like, hell yeah, we got a reason. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he said something about essentially grinding Japan into a fine dust. Like, was just like, this is over. <laughs> and, uh, dude. We're going to spread your ashes <sighs> over China. Dude, I, I just get so pissed when I think about it. Like, I don't know, man. But, like, they, um, uh, so, like, so, yeah, so, like, they attack us in Pearl Harbor, and they, they rope us into it, right? And so, you know, how do we retaliate with this? Like, it's the atomic Atomic bombs, right? Bombing, fight fire with fire. <laughs> bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah. Fire with fire. Dude. But, like, they, like, the Japanese knew, man. They knew that they did not stand a chance against us. So there's, like, I don't know. It's just, like, the it, it's, like, the littlest kid in the room, like, going up and just, like, sucker punching a bully and then, like, the bully standing up, like, just, like, twice his size, and the kid just screaming and running, going, oh, God, no, not me. <laughs> <What are we laughs> like, yeah, dude. It's like, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> and so, like, we bomb, like, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Like, we drop, like, you know, first two bombs or whatever. But, like, or, well, the only two bombs. But, um, like, so we did the first one, right? And I think the first one killed, like, I think it was, like, 80,000 people or something like that. Like the- it was, like, instant. It was, like, literally, like, a, like a photo, right? It's like, oh, what's that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> like, yeah, you yeah. just literally just get vaporized, right? And then, um, so it was like, you know, the first one sealed the deal. But then we turned around and dropped the second one. And the second one was just like a warning to the Soviets. Like, hey, calm the fuck down. They're like, we still got more of these. We're ready. Yes. And so <laughs> the first one was to show we could do it. The second one was to show that we could keep doing it. And the Soviets just backed the fuck off. They were like, oh, hell no, dude. But the movie was, the Oppenheimer movie was interesting, man, because it talked about, like, the scientists knew what they were doing. They knew the repercussions of that. They were like, if we build an atomic bomb, they have to build one. Like, the Soviets have to, but they don't have a choice. Yeah. And so, Same thing as the space travel shit. Like, we all, mm-hmm. we're always in competition with whatever we're doing. Space race. Yeah. Yeah, man. Ooh. Monkeys on the moon. <laughs> Monkeys on the moon, dude. <laughs> we still going back to that shit? In that? Like, a couple years or something, right? We're going back to the moon? Yeah. I remember that shit when Trump made that announcement and he came out, like, everybody thought he was going to be like, aliens are real. And then he was like, we're going to the moon. <laughs> and everybody was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, there's nothing there, dude. We don't give a shit about that. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man. So I don't know. That, that movie was good. Like, it painted, it painted a really good, really good picture, man. And uh, it kind of showed, you know, what these scientists were dealing with. But, like, you know, they, they, were, they were worried about, you know, we make an atomic bomb. They have to make an atomic bomb. And then the movie paints it like they wanted to start another project, which they ended up doing to start a hydrogen bomb mm-hmm. which in the movie they say is a thousand times more stronger than an atomic bomb but i'm just going to quote this from some of my literature from college they can be upwards of twenty thousand times stronger and to kind of put it in perspective like the trinity test that happened out in the desert like when we were testing the atomic bomb like i think the first crater left was like one and a half miles in diameter so it just kind of shows you the magnitude of force that's behind these things yeah but a lot of scientists were like, essentially, like, if you make a hydrogen bomb, like, this shit is over. Like, if anyone pulls that trigger, like, dude. Like, civilization yeah. is done. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, like, a lot of people, like, I always, like, heard it misquoted. They'd be like, oh, we dropped an H-bomb, like, on Japan. Like, no, we've never dropped an atomic, uh, we've never dropped a hydrogen bomb in a war, ever. Yeah. Like, I think the, I think it was created in 1957. We've only ever dropped them out, like, in the ocean and shit. And they're, like, lower grade ones, because we just know that, like, yeah, this is, like, some deadly shit or whatever. But, like, the effects of, like, the atomic bomb, man, like, when that shit goes off, it's crazy, man. Like, they talked about it in the movie. They said, like, people who had, like, stripes on their clothing, like, the stripes were burned into their skin and oh, stuff. Shit. Yeah, like, shadows were burned into concrete and stuff. Like, fuck <laughs> that, that, dude. So, like, I don't know. I guess, like, if we were going to get bombed, like, I'd want to be, like, ground zero. You know, like, I'd want that shit to be instant. Yeah. You know, I would not want to be, like, like, let's say the blast radius is, to, like, you know, two miles. I don't want to be, like... 2.1 miles. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, I want to be there, like, as soon as I see the light, like, it's over. You're just done. Like, done. Yeah. Have you ever met a, 
Just speaking of World War Two and all this, have you ever met a World War Two vet? I feel like I have, like, I don't think I've met one personally. Like, I've been, like, yeah. around them when they were, like, answering questions and that kind of stuff in those settings, but I don't think I've really talked to one. Yeah, yeah. Um, my old lady's uh, grandfather, he was a World War II. Yeah, he was older. I mean, obviously, he was yeah. older. <laughs> like, uh, but he's since passed away. But he, uh, he was in the Army, man. He got drafted, and he operated a, a cannon. And he just had these freaking, like, wild fucking stories, man. Like, I mean, that shit... I mean, those dudes came back like men, dude. Like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And, like, I always felt so bad. Like, because, I mean, he, he was well put together and all such stuff, you know? But, like, uh, I always felt, like, so bad because, like, when those dudes were coming back, like, there wasn't shit for them, dude. There was no, like, oh, VA is going to take care of me. No, it was bills. like, you go to the bar. Yeah. <laughs> so my my, uh, my great grandfather was a fighter pirate pilot in World War II. Oh, no shit. So I never met him because he was dead before I was born. But, oh, yeah. My, uh, my mom, like, he was a super good dude. But he, had, he, he loved the beer. He would go to the bars. <laughs> like, that was what he had. He'd hang out with his buddies, and then they all died. Like, Be a man. You push that shit down. You yeah. Know? Like, yeah. You, drink, you drink away the pain. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know, like, but I mean, like, it just didn't seem like they bitched about it. Fuck no. You know what First I mean? First off, no one's going to listen. Second of all, yeah. like, they were men. You're, it's not, it's not mm-hmm. ingrained in them to fucking complain about their problems. They yeah. can't be fixed anyways. And I think they created, didn't they, didn't they create the, uh, what was it, the Foreign Legion? It's basically like the early stages of like yeah, the BFW. Yeah, But like they just came together with their own money and they were like, okay, we'll open our own bars. Like, we'll try to help out people with like medical costs, like all kinds mm-hmm. of shit and stuff. Yeah, it was, it was really good stuff, man. I don't know. I mean, because like today, like, I, because it, it almost seems like, especially like young men, like, I don't know, it's like, it's like the pussification of America. You know what I mean? Like, we just cry and bitch about every single thing. I mean... They think they're a goddamn war hero whenever they end around a Call of Duty. So yeah, <laughs> I served in some serious combat I'd zones. Nice time, the fucking oil rig, dude. O- you would know. O- you Oculus, would know Oculus Rift. I was in Fallujah <laughs> last night. I'm like, come on, dude. <laughs> but yeah, dude. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that everyone needs to go through something traumatic, but like, I don't know. Those dudes just seem like they were cut, you know, from a different cloth. Like they had to be. Yeah, well, yeah, because mean? they wouldn't like. There was just no other option. You yeah. couldn't. You weren't gonna be able to put up with stupid like bullshit. If like if you were if you were a fucking pussy, you would just get your ass beat. Like yeah. no one was gonna feel sorry for you or give you a fucking free handout. Like, yeah. Dude, have you uh there's there's a good movie on Netflix, man, that talks about World War Two. It's uh it's called All Quiet on the Western Front. Yeah. Ooh, God. <sighs> man, that's it's a movie. It's a movie, man, but it is graphic as shit. Like it's not like necessarily like gory graphic, but it's like very like this is what it was like, like in the trenches like filming like war zone type stuff yeah yeah gotcha. yeah and uh i think it was i think it was actually world war one or was it two fuck i can't remember off the top of my head but it's a, it's a good um you got so much shit we gotta talk about but <laughs> like uh, it's a good movie man like it talks about like just like little things like being short on food and then like them just being like super hungry like all the fucking yeah. time snowing just being cold as shit and they just got like shitty ass clothes and stuff there's like a crazy scene where like they're taking like the uniforms from dead soldiers and they're like shipping them back to like america or whatever no i wasn't it was in Ger- i think it was in germany it's actually germany yeah germans were like shipping them back or whatever and then they were like washing them cleaning them and then they were issuing them to like the new recruits and like one dude gets like a uniform and it has like a blood stain on it and shit. He's like, "What is it?" Oh, so they were like their own, like after their own people died, they would just reuse the uniforms. Yeah, yeah. it's fucking eerie. They couldn't fucking lace nothing. I know. I mean, this wartime. They like, should have ate the goddamn yeah. bodies. That's why, like, people like talk about war like so freely. Like, if you if you've ever like really talked to someone who's like actually experienced it or whatever, or like been a part of it yourself, like when those people, like when they start seeing people like. Just bomb those fuckers or whatever. It's just like, whoa, hold up, you fucking idiot. <laughs> it's like, you just, you know? Because, like, I don't know. I, I feel like, especially, like, young like young dudes today, like, they'll talk about it. Be like, we should just turn turn this into a glass castle or whatever. Like, fuck, Yeah, blah, but blah, those blah, are blah, the blah. ones that were like, I would have joined, but I'd have told them never to yeah. shit this fucking now. Like, all right, you little bitch. I doubt you fucking Dude, would. I've heard that so many times. I almost joined. Yeah, yeah. But I something almost, happened. But, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> but you were too much of a little bitch, or you were a goddamn felon or a drug head. So. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Like, I don't know, man. Like, so those the young guys like talk about it and shit. I'm just like, dude. Like, I, like I was telling a guy the other day, dude. Uh, he's like 20 year old kid. 
and he was talking about like, Ukraine. Like, you know, he's like, we should just go over there and just kick Russia's ass and shit like that. I was like, uh, who do you think Lee is, dude? Yeah. You. <laughs> just you're like, a little bitch ass. Like, you want to go over there and do something about it? Shut the fuck up. I tell you, like, we got the largest volunteer force in the world, but, like, the fucking reality of it is, like, those major wars, those aren't grown ass men fighting. Those are, like, 18 to 25 year old kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, go back and watch, like, watch that fucking World War II in color on Netflix. Well, hell, dude. those dudes were, like, like 20 years old. Yeah, yeah dude. You get that. They were, were lying. They were under, yeah, like, they signed up as soon as they were. Tons of stories, of like, 16 year olds fighting yeah. that shit, dude. That's fucking insane. And then I just, back then, they actually gave a shit about this country and, like, felt pride and stuff. Nowadays, yeah. they're like, God damn, I don't want to do no work. Just but back then, bitches. they would lie just to be able to go serve their country if yeah. they were underage. That shit's crazy. Like, that would never fucking happen now. Oh, fuck First off, no, parents dude. would be like, oh, no, little Timmy, you're way too young to go to the war. Back then, they were like, get your ass out there, yeah. boy. We need you out of the house. Let's, <laughs> let's food on the table. Now you can be on your parents' insurance till you're, like, 26. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, I'm independent. And he's like, he's 25-year-old man. Yeah. I'm like, get the, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, get out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I don't know, dude. It's, uh, it, it, it's crazy, man. So, like, sometimes, like, you know, like, when you see, like, Trump say some crazy shit, man, I was like, oh. Dude, I, I mean, I know he's got the intel. I, I know he probably knows a fuck ton more about that shit. Well, he has people around him, you know, a fuck ton more about it. He gets told a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> but man, like, I, know, I remember when I was in the military, dude, that, that guy, like, he, like, fucking haunted me, dude. Like, <laughs> dude, I, like, at one point, I thought it was, like, personal. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a funny story. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But it's so, like, when I first joined, like, Obama was still president and shit, right? And then uh, Trump gets elected. And then I'm like, okay, cool. Like, we got a Republican, kind of balance the system a little bit, you know, maybe, you know, loosen up some things, get some more money flowing in the right directions, you know. All right, we'll be all right. So I go to, like, South Korea is, like, my first station, right? Like, I'm, I'm stationed out there or whatever. And then, like, dude, like, as soon as my feet touch the fucking ground, that's when, I, like, all that shit with Kim Jong-un starts popping up. <laughs> where he's, like, on Twitter, like, arguing with, like, a big... He's like, he's like Rocket Man. Right? Yeah. Dude, you know, he sent him a vinyl album of fucking Elton John's like fucking greatest hits that had like Rocket That's Man awesome. on there. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And like Trump does a fucking interview with it and he talks about it. He was like, yeah, I didn't tell him it was made in South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he's a fucking troll, dude. But yeah, dude, he's, he's like, he's kicking this shit up, dude. And like every fucking day I'm waking up, dude. And I'm just like flooded with like walls of text. And everybody's like, dude, are you about to go to fucking war? And I was like, I don't know. Like, you don't tell us shit. <laughs> so, like, I remember, like, Kim Jong-un was like, oh, I had, like, you better, like, basically calm down. Like, I have a button. And then, like, Trump, Yeah, he's like, I can hit Seoul in 30 minutes type shit. Like, Trump was just like, I got a bigger button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call him Rocket Man in the middle of that shit. But, uh, so, for those of you who don't know, basically, what all that translated to was essentially us just working 12-hour shifts for the foreseeable future. And it was just like, this dude, like, could send just a text or say, like, an offhanded comment. And then it was just like, Fuck now fucking we're locked down. Yeah, lock yeah. like no drinking, like you ain't doing shit on the Can't weekends. Go off base. Yeah, dude. It's like you just gotta be ready to go to war at any moment. So by the time I'm getting out of Korea, like it's it kind of like calms down and shit, right? It's like, okay, like whatever. And then he did the whole thing where he went over there and then he walks across you know, the, <laughs> the, the DMZ, line. Yeah. yeah. And remember, remember him telling him he's like, Oh, this is a nice line. I, just, I looked at the line, I said, Wow, what a nice line. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> he describes shit. And then he describes, like, how he described it. So and he's, just, like, super sarcastic and condescending. <laughs> like, but it's funny as fuck. Wow, I saw you. I, I, I saw that computer. It was a nice computer. I said, wow, what a nice computer. You know? <laughs> I was like, what, dude? Like, whatever. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, man, fuck this. I got to get out of here. So I finally get my, my Torians. I go to Germany, right? And, like, I swear to God, it's like, I don't know what, like, he. I'm sure he got an email that said, like, hey, like, Justin Allen just moved to Germany. <laughs> He's like, time to stir some shit up. Time to stir some shit up. And then that's when he, like, so I'm there for a little while. And then he starts, like, kicking up shit with their, like, chancellor at the time, like, Angela Merkel. I don't know if you remember all that shit going down. Uh -huh. Oh, dude, they were, like, getting heated debates and stuff. Because this is when he was, like, talking about these European countries, like... Oh, not paying their pay fucking dues, essentially. Yeah, for paying NATO. money to NATO. Yeah, 2% yeah. of your GDP, man. And then, like, when you really start looking into it, you start seeing, like, a lot of countries, like, hadn't paid for years. Dude, yeah. And he was the first motherfucker to even mention it. Yeah. Which is bullshit. Like, Obama's I stupid ass just sat on his hands and dumped more money off to every other oh, motherfucker. You guys are cool. He's like, oh, yeah, what's up, man? Here's a pallet of fucking $100 bills, dude. Yeah, I think Luxembourg. I don't even remember, dude. I think they were, like, five years behind. Like, not even a penny, dude. Dude, that was multiple fucking countries. Like, yeah. if we had a, 
if we had the list pulled up, it would I think well over more like well over half had never hadn't paid shit. It was more than half of the, all the countries in fucking NATO had not been paying their shit. And as usual, we were towing the fucking weight. Yeah, that's what like fucking pisses me off, dude. Like, because like it's our fucking jets we're flying over there. It's yeah, our ships. It's we're our goddamn around. money we're wasting. It's our fucking people. We're spending all this goddamn money, and they can't fucking pay. Yeah, money. and they're they like, "Yo, help us out, guys. Yeah. We love you so much." And they go talk shit about us. Yeah, <laughs> they'd be like, "Oh, like we're 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 only green energy." It's like, shut the fuck up. We yeah. also have four hundred million people in our country. Figure out that solar panel issue, and then let me fucking know. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, fuck off. But uh, anyway, fucking, so he's going at it with, like, Angela Merkel and shit. And then Trump doesn't even tell anyone in his cabinet that he's planning this. But he just announces. He's like, I'm closing. I'm going to close down these. Uh, it was, like, two. Well, he said all the bases, actually. All the bases in Germany. And I was like, what the fuck? Um, for those of you who don't know, one of the largest DOD bases in the world is in Germany. It's called Ramstein. It has 80,000 fucking people there. Imagine trying to pack that shit up and ship everything out. But the base that I was at was... You do like Biden and just fucking leave everything like a fucktard. Oh, God, dude. dude don't even give me... T- <laughs> dude, I'll go down the rabbit hole with that shit, dude. You really want to get pissed off. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll, start, I'll start like fuming, man. Like, that shit... <laughs> <laughs> all right, like fucking table that. Like we'll we'll get onto that in a minute. All right, like another then, episode. <laughs> <laughs> that's I mean that's like a whole thirty Dude, minute we'll, thing in we'll, itself. We'll make we'll we'll have an episode of like the top things that fucking infuriate us. We'll have, we'll have that. That'll be a good show. We can do that in our conspiracy one. I think it'll be like good back to backs. Do the conspiracy one last and chill us out. You know? Yeah. So yeah. So anyway, so Trump haunts me like in South Korea. Then he haunts me in Germany. And then like literally all these Germans are just like coming up to me. They're like. Like, is Donald Trump closing down the base? I'm like, uh, I don't know. Like, like, we don't know. Let me fucking text. text (laughs) Yeah, yeah, dude. And so there's all this shit. And like, I mean, the base that I was at was like a little smaller, but it's still, I mean, it's a lot of shit there, dude. Yeah. And like packing up, like packing up and shipping shit. That's just a fucking nightmare. So it was getting like real heated between him and Merkel. And I was like, all right, dude. I gotta get the fuck out of here. (laughs) So... So a deployment came up to Iraq, and I was like, oh, fuck, I'd rather go to Iraq than pack this shit up here. So I hop on that hey, shit. Listen, I get paid extra to be miserable over there. <laughs> yeah, it would be miserable here. I get yeah. paid extra to be miserable over there. And so like, I hop on that shit, dude. And like, oh, God, dude. This is, I get there, and it's like, once again, he got a text or an email that said, hey, Justin Allen just made it to Iraq, right? And this is where he just starts like. He's like, and I thought to myself, how can I fuck this guy up? <laughs> yeah, dude. And so we get there, and it's just like, I mean, you, when you're deployed, you're just working your ass off non- yeah. nonstop, dude. Like, just nonstop. And it's hot, and it's miserable, and, like, no one wants to fucking be there. But it is, he gets in there, he starts talking shit with Iran and stuff. I'm like, God damn it. Like, I cannot escape this dude, dude. And uh, so that was when he, that, that was when, um, well, it was getting really heated. We were doing a bunch of stuff, and I kind of had to gloss over some of that shit. But it was just a lot of shit. I was like, dude, this is like, this is horrible. So I leave. And then like literally like right after I leave, that's when they killed that fucking Iranian general. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And then they shot back all those rockets. You remember that shit? Yeah. That was the base that I was at. So I had friends that were still there. So like, I, I'm back in Germany. Like, thank God. <laughs> thank God. I'm like kissing the fucking ground. You know what I mean? Uh, like the motherland. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not really. But uh, I just wanted to be in the developed country. You know sure, what I mean? Yeah. That wasn't like. Shoot shit. Yeah. yeah, dude. Not 100 fucking 20 degrees. <laughs> but uh, so I'm like drinking like, you know, a half of ice and beer or whatever. And then, and like, all my fucking phone is blowing my emails. People are sending me all these pictures. Pictures haven't even made it like on the fucking news yet, dude. And it's just these craters and shit, like all throughout the base and stuff. And we could get into that at some other point, but there's a whole backstory to that. But finally, dude, like, I get back to Germany and then it seems like he just started getting focused more on like the election. And then I was like, oh, thank Kinda God. <laughs> thank God. I was like, I don't think I can handle another. <laughs> but you know the fucked up part is? I voted for the guy. <laughs> Talk about living with the consequences of your actions. So I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, voting is a real fucking thing. Like, be careful because that shit can really fuck you up, man, if you don't realize it. <laughs> I thought he was a cool guy, though. Fuck yeah. He was entertaining to say the least. He was entertaining. He was like, he was unpredictable. He was a wild card. <laughs> He's a wild was like that all wild of a card. Wild <laughs> card that cut the brake line. That was him. Shit. 
Yeah, dude. Oh, man. Uh, he, uh, I, hope he, I hope he runs again. Yeah, I mean, at a minimum, even if he doesn't win, dude, that'd be... People... I just I want him to run again just to piss all those people off again. That yeah. shit's funny. Yeah, watch them fucking brains explode. Yeah. Yeah, man. And they're... I mean, they're trying... Dude, they are like... You got half a brain. You can see what they're doing, man. They're, they're throwing all these cr- cases at him and everything. They're yeah, just they trying. Yeah, they that, dude. They, I mean, they never stopped. From the moment he got elected, they were trying to fuck him yeah, over. Dude. And he served his entire goddamn presidency. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Dude, that's fucking... That's, that's weird wild. because, like, that just goes to show, like... He couldn't have done that too much fucked up stuff because That's if, they, what I'm if he would have had anything, they would have nailed his ass to the wall. But yeah, money or not, Biden gets away with everything, but he just has no like no one even tries him. Yeah, but well, Biden's Trump, just a bumbling idiot. I think people would feel bad if they even tried. Dude, like, fuck, oh, fuck that man. <laughs> I want him to pay. I, you know, I think I think Biden actually might be a hell of a lot more calculated than what we give him credit for. He has to be right. I don't know. I'm not saying like as the president, but all his like fucking backdoor dealings, all his family shit and stuff like that. Like he, I, mean, I don't think in, his, in the past for sure. I don't know. I don't now. know if he knows so much what's going on anymore. But he has like all of his people just running shit for him. And he's basically just the goddamn puppet on a string. Yeah, stumbling and talking about shit. Illuminati dude, to. it's coming for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the lizard people. <laughs> what if the lizards just keep him chained? <laughs> to the desk. Yeah. <laughs> they tell him what to say in a microphone. They're like, you will sign this. <laughs> they, just, this move. they just like pour adrenochrome on top of him so he <laughs> slows down the aging process. I don't know. Isn't that what that shit was for? Yeah, yeah they made him fucking crack open fetuses <laughs> and suck out the juice too. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. But like, what has me worried is like, I think I think the world sees Biden as like kind of weak, right? Well, yeah, he's a goddamn fucking pussy. Because a lot of crazy shit didn't kick up under Trump. Like a lot of words were exchanged. But they didn't do shit. But nothing really. Because they knew happened. he was like he was he would do shit. He would like act first, ask for forgiveness later. Like yeah. he would put he would push the goddamn button and be like, "Well, guys, last night I pushed the fucking button." Yeah. It's like we're in a goddamn war now. Yeah. It's like Biden, <laughs> my bad. Biden can't even find the motherfucking button. Where the hell did I put that goddamn he thing? He thinks it's a goddamn life alert thing. Fuck. <laughs> hell's not falling and I can't get up. You imagine, like, he's like, you walk into the Oval Office to meet the president, and he's looking through his drawers and he's just mumbling to himself, like, where the hell did I put that goddamn yeah. thing? It's like the card that has launch codes on it. Like, <laughs> like oh shit, there it is. My bad. Which he's like a typical old, old person. He has, like, all the passwords just on his computer, like, on a sticky note. Like, Saved on a Word document. Yeah. He just <laughs> copy and paste. He's like, oh, ooh, ooh, not good, not good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but like I mean like you look at the shit with Russia man I mean I know Russia you know this, that's a whole debacle between them and the Ukraine and all that and the Crimea shit was already happening years prior but man like they I mean they, I think they saw an opportunity to strike yeah. and they were like the United States is going to stay out of this now we've sent them a bunch of shit and like Putin's gotten fucking pissed obviously right <clears throat> and but I don't know I just felt like under Trump like that shit wouldn't happen but Russia's a fucking crazy too man like they are and like, they're insane. Well, Putin, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like he, like he's not gonna, he's not gonna get made to look weak. Like, he will do something yeah. crazy if he gets yeah. backed into a corner because yeah. he's gonna be like, "Fuck it, I got nothing to lose. I'm not gonna go down like a bitch." Yeah. Like he's gonna, like he'll do something. Did you hear about that? Uh, the we'd probably pronounce it Wagner, but the Wagner uh, group, like his little branch of the military. Oh, the ones that like tried to go up against him, like yeah, they're exiled in thing. Belarus now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking crazy. You, did you know like what that military consisted of? No, it was all like prisoners. Oh shit! Like they got like that was a part of the deal. Like either they'd been to prison already. Like it was like criminal. Like like a lot of these were like violent criminals. That's what I've been saying. Like we need to do that here. Like just send them straight to fucking war zones because any like any person with a long sentence. I mean, if I had a fucking life sentence, I'd be like, fuck yeah, send me over there. Like, that's yeah. something to do. I'm not in a goddamn prison cell. If I die, I don't give a fuck. It'll be way more fun yeah. dying over there than dying in a goddamn cell. It's like, cell. you got 20 years in prison, or you go do four years of this, and then when you get out, like, you're done. When Well, on the way back, they're just going to crash the plane and kill them all anyways. Yeah. Just but, clean, clean the slate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Straight into the fucking Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> like, you guys want a holiday? Uh, a hey, fucking vacation. I took the long route, and... <laughs> Flew right over that Bermuda Triangle. That was that Mal- Malaysian Air 107 or something? Yeah, I, I don't shit. think they ever found it. They, they never, they've never found the whole fucking God plane. damn, dude. But yeah, man. Russia's that, a fucking crazy, dude. What were you going to say? Remember, do you remember those videos like a long time ago? Well, like Russians have always been crazy, but whenever the internet first came out, they were like jumping off of fucking buildings in the snowbanks and shit. <laughs> yes. Like fucking six or like 
was, I don't know, like, it was high as fuck. Yeah. Like, stuff that... Wrestling bears and shit. Yeah, like, doing it, like, fucking ch- <laughs> chugging vodka and flipping <laughs> off buildings and shit. And then, like, our guys here just, like, fucking cry because someone, like, tweeted some shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just, fucking embarrassing. What do you think, what do you think... And the, Rus- the Russians will also, the, the Russians hate weakness. Yeah. So, yeah. whereas we embrace that shit and coddle it and baby it and fucking build it up even more sure but like take gays for instance the russians just straight up beat the fuck out of them in the streets oh it's illegal in russia isn't it? yeah god damn like bro. if you if you're found out to be gay they'll just beat the fuck out of you in this and like no one cares at all <sighs> dude that's so fucked up man. like i'm not saying it's right sure absolutely but i mean hell the god it's just like it's just it just shows i guess what you're trying to say man is like it shows if they believe in something the extreme lengths they will go to yeah to like secure that ideology, right? Like if we think being gay is wrong, like it is wrong across the board. Even though there's a lot of protests and shit, you know, to change those laws, but Putin ain't having that shit. You fuck seen those no, videos of him? Beat the fuck out of them too. Yeah, you <laughs> seen those videos of him like snatching fucking people up in the streets and shit? Yeah. Like, God damn, dude. And like you just disappear over there. You just go away. Like Yeah, it's like straight up van pulls up, gets slammed in there, and you're never seen again. Like, yeah, you know, dude, you're like, oh, uh, just fucking leave it or we're next. Dude, I bet I bet a fucking prison in America is like a trip to fucking Disney World compared to a fucking prison in Russia. Dude, Russian prison? Yeah, dude. Fuck that. If you're an American, you're not going to fucking make it. No, nah, dude, I don't think I would survive, dude. I'd, I'd probably just fucking hang myself. Dude, if, you, if you're an American, <laughs> if you're an American in a Russian prison, I don't, I don't think you could make it. Yeah. Did you ever see, like, uh, the Russians' views, like, citizens, not like their government, their, their views on global warming? Mm. Man, uh, they, I think I saw it on Vice one time. They, they were, like, interviewing people on the street. Cause they, the whole episode was about global warming, right, climate change and all that. And uh, so they were interviewing, like, Russian citizens on the street, man. And they were just like, yeah, we're cool with it. <laughs> like, it's like, like harder the better motherfucker. yeah they didn't skip a beat because they were like when these polar ice caps like ice caps melt and they were like uk is gone like all this shit like all this fucking shit is just gonna disappear florida is not gonna exist <laughs> california is gonna float off into the void <laughs> like it's all gonna be gone uh essentially they're under the impression that they're gonna have like beachfront property in russia and it's gonna be like palm trees and sunny beaches and shit and they're just like bring it on so like their cement is gonna melt and it's just gonna be a goddamn tropical paradise over there i was just like like no regard for like anything like like species that would go extinct or like even like just like farming they're probably over there double fist and aerosol cans There's uh, CFCs or whatever they used to put like a hairspray and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Ate a hole in the ozone layer. Straight to the ozone. Did you know that? Did you know that hole in the ozone layer is uh, completely healed up? Is it really? Yeah, it's been healed up for a while. Yeah, we started. We talked about it in school. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. It's a thing called CFCs. It's a. Uh, so it's like your liver. If you stop drinking for long enough, it'll kind of repair itself. Let's take a day off. <laughs> you'll, you'll be all right. Harder than it sounds. This shit'll bounce back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, so fuck. So it's that shit's gone like it's repaired yeah that's crazy i'm sure it can come back or whatever oh yeah but uh it's a thing it's it just like gee whiz like I science mean, what are people fucking bitching about i mean it's still just getting like hot as fuck and stuff is it's it like, though i mean like yeah it's like greenhouse gases because so like, like whenever you look at it we'll be like oh this is the highest temperature recorded in the last hundred years so you're so like okay so a hundred years ago it was the same motherfucking temperature so what's your goddamn point yeah. like there was less way less pollution a hundred years ago than there is now but if the temperature could still reach it was still that fucking hot yeah. are we really doing anything i think it's a, it's more so like the frequency of it That's i don't know it's man like because you know like there's like a volcano like there's some some fucking volcano that if it erupts it's gonna undo like whatever the fuck we ever could have done within a thousand years. oh you're talking about uh what is it uh is it yellow not yellowstone uh, uh yosemite i think so maybe so which one was it one of them. It's one the of, largest volcano like, yeah, in the world. One of them it's on you, our soil. If it fucking erupts, it's going to cover the whole goddamn U.S. in ashes. It's, it's, a whole, it's the whole world. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like the shit that happened to the dinosaurs. Well, like, that's, it's just going to black like, out the sun. And it said that would, like, that one thing would be more than what we could have ever fucking fucked up in a thousand years. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I mean, so why the fuck do we care? I don't know. I don't, I don't like, I think I mean, also, I don't think that we should just, like, throw fucking trash in the oceans and shit like that. I don't know. I mean, I'm not for that. <laughs> you but, know, like, I fucking... Mean, we can try to do the right thing all we want, yeah, but yeah, fucking yeah. India and China and all those motherfuckers aren't going to do a goddamn thing, and they have way more people than us. That's, that's so what actually what's, gets what's me... What's the fucking point? That's what gets me about all of this, right? Like, in America, like, 
it's like this push. It's almost like a political agenda, like this push it's towards one hundred percent a political like, agenda. Funnel more money into this, but they're they're not really solving any goddamn problems. No, not at all. They're still know? flying their goddamn private jets over there yeah, to have dude. the fucking debates and fucking be like oil oh. lines still busting in the ocean. Yeah, the how many times has that fucking happened in the last just, two decades? Like, uh, <laughs> sweep that shit under the rug as yeah. usual. <laughs> you know, but but then like you look at like places like fucking India and China and like all Who these no like, Africa, regulations, no reg like they don't give a fuck. Even Hell, if they do, they Chinese, don't give a fuck. No, the Chinese have been wearing fucking masks for years because the air quality is so terrible. Yeah, like. And oh, then they like, COVID. like our like our media or our like whoever like you name it like has the balls to make it seem like we're, the we're bad guys. so fucking horrible. Yeah, like out of all the places I travel, I got news for you folks. Like we're actually not that bad. We're doing pretty fucking good, and we're making some pretty goddamn positive changes, man. Like, I mean, I think we we have the number one like EV producing comp like company in the world, like stationed out of America, like Tesla. Yeah, they produce over fifty percent of EVs in the entire world. You know, like there's a big shift to like solar energy and wind and all that other stuff. And I know there's like debates on all that stuff, but like, I mean, if we can be responsible, logically, we'll do it. Yeah, like if it's the difference in me fucking, I don't know, if it's easy and makes sense, sure, that's fine. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste a fuckload of money to do something when it doesn't really fucking matter. Yeah, yeah, man. And like, I think that's there's, there's, I don't know, like checks and balances. Like if something makes sense and it's a reasonable thing, then it should be done. But we shouldn't sure. go out of our way, like totally above and beyond on this all the crazy Going bullshit. Going for it. Yeah. Now it's time for a quick message from our sponsors. Are you searching for natural plant-based solutions to enhance your well-being? Well, look no further than premium kratom powder from m and Labs. Introducing our premium kratom products crafted with care and expertise. Life can be demanding, and we understand the need for reliable support to face the challenges ahead. m and Labs Kratom offers you the perfect blend of tradition and modern science, bringing you the power of Kratom in every leaf. Unlock the potential of Kratom with m and Labs' diverse range of strains. Whether you're seeking a natural energy boost, calm and relaxation, or relief from everyday discomfort, we have the perfect solution for you. Are you ready to experience the power of nature's gift? Visit our website at mnwlabs.com to place your order today. Our friendly and knowledgeable customer service team is standing by to assist you. Now let's get back to the show. Yeah. You know? Yeah. When in the long run, it's not going to fucking make a shit. And we're probably going to get nuked to grow like some kind of war and all die before that shit ever fucks us up anyways. Who cares? <laughs> you think we'll see World War Three in our lifetime? I think I'm out of time. I'm thinking, I'm thinking so. You think so? I'm you think, think it's so. going to be a long drawn out one or you think it's going to be quick and dirty? I feel like, over, like real quick. I feel, I mean... Like, it should be quick because we have, everyone has the fucking crazy ass capabilities. Yeah. So I'm expecting it to be just bomb the fuck out of people and then we're living like goddamn fallout. Like, yeah. I don't know, radiation and all that kind of stuff. See, the thing, like, going back talking about like war and shit like that, man, the thing that gets me yeah. about like going to war is like, you know, there's like basically the, with the United Nations, like, there's essentially like national laws that like state, like, you break it, you buy it. Yeah. So, like, if you go and everyone's like, oh, this bomb fucking Russia, who the fuck do you think is going to pay to rebuild all that shit? Us. <laughs> it's just like, you know what I mean? I'm not saying we should, but, but we, like. It would be like everything else. We would just, hope, like, have bases over there and just run that shit from, like. Isn't it crazy how we Just, like, that? Japan, Germany. Like, yeah, <laughs> everywhere we fuck up, we, we never leave. Just keep a foot in the door. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, just, just going gonna, just gonna to hang out in Japan for a while. Yeah. Dude, I still, like, god damn, talk about that shit, like. That World War II, like, fuck a pro, that shit pissed me the fuck off, dude. I'm like, God I, So I watched a documentary about World War II the other day, too, before I saw the Oppenheimer one. I'm just sitting there like at fucking two in the morning, like, just getting pissed. Yeah, like these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I'm finding it out for the first time. Like, like it's a headline news yeah, story. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? We're just going to let them get away with this shit? <laughs> yeah, dude. But like, I, did you, well, did you ever go to Japan? I no. can't remember. No, you know, okay. Right, right. So I, I went to Japan like long. I want to go. I, I plan on going in the next couple of years. Yeah, I, I loved it, man. Like, dude, great food. People are so nice, so respectful. Like, they, they have like legit traditions over mm -hmm. there. And I, I like that because yeah. you, you don't really get that a whole lot in America. No, you know? that's just not. Nice. Yeah. But uh, over there, like, it's, it's still like a definitely a thing. But I will tell you this, man. I don't know if you know this, but the Japanese people are like very big pacifists over there because of World War II. So, like, they, I mean, they deserved. They had it coming to it, man. We gave them like the fucking big one-two smackdown, yeah. and like, and we just literally bitch slapped them into pacifism. So like, it's so crazy over there that like their own citizens protest them having a military. Jesus. Yeah, they're not allowed to have a military. They have a uh, a defense force. So, so basically, they can't do. They're never going to be the opposer. Like, yes, they can defend themselves. Yeah, yeah. But they're but never going to start. Can't shit. be an aggressor. Yeah. 
And that's because, like, after we kicked their ass in World War II, we had to help rebuild them, right? <laughs> and one thing was, is like, I can't remember the general's name, our guy, but he, like, he was like, you need to write a constitution. And then they, they wrote a new constitution in the first draft they gave him. He ripped that shit in half and he was like, he was like try again. <laughs> He's like, try again. And I think it's article, it's either article 10 or article 15. It essentially just states that, like, yeah, they can only defend themselves. But catch 22 on that, back to the whole you break it, you buy it shit. We put restrictions on that. It also states in their constitution that if they're ever formally attacked, we are obligated by law to defend to help them. them. Yeah. So anything Japan gets involved in, that's us too. So I don't know. But I mean, um, that's probably kept their ass safe from North Korea, like from yeah. other countries, I'm sure, like China and North Korea. Dude, especially like, dude, you want to get in that fucking mess? That like, fucking the whole relationship between Japan, China, South Korea, dude, that is a dark, dark fucking history, dude. It's like, dude, like, I don't know. I heard this shit the other day, like, during World War II, like, China had, like, the number two, like, most casualties. China did? Some shit like that, yeah. Because the Japanese were invading China, and they were just, like, <laughs> they were literally raping and pillaging and just cutting off heads. Like, they were making, like, mountains of heads and shit. God damn, like, like Viking shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they were going full samurai, dude. Like, I mean, they were showing up with swords and whistles and shit, and they were running through the woods, and they were just, like, raping women. Like, they were just taking everything, dude. And, and, like, yeah. Yeah. And so that's, that's kind of cool. That's part of the reason why we were kind of like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> like, like tone it down. Coming up, all right, all right. We, we get taking shit over, but you can't be like, you can't be raping people and shit. Like, True, like that's not cool. It's 1947. Yeah, <laughs> that shit may have flew in the fucking 1500s. Have a little, little bit more. Yeah, class. I mean, some, of, some of those countries, like I think, like slavery, like historically, has the longest running history of uh, no, South Korea. Uh, has the longest running history of slavery. In the entire world. Was it their own people? I, well, yeah. I, I'm trying to remember now. Now, you, I don't want to like, get misquoted on this because this might actually piss some people off. <laughs> <laughs> but they were just like always like war, like China, China, the Korea, or well, the Korea so, like, the, at the, the time. The Orientals but, yeah. as a whole. Like, yeah, Asian. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, dude, like, they were just, I don't know, like so, super savage or whatever. Which kind of like interesting, like, being there, I remember, well, being in Japan and South Korea, uh, I had a friend of mine, and she was, like, telling me, she, she was a bartender, she was telling me that if you take a Japanese history book and you take a South Korean history book, they tell different stories. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, dude. And apparently, like, this do is they like, blame each other? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They paint each other. It's like yeah, the they, they were like, like these, <laughs> these fucking came to our land. They killed our people. We had to fucking fight cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> they raped us first. <laughs> we raped them back. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's like, it's a whole thing, dude. There's like a set of islands over there, like between Japan and South Korea that are still disputed on who owns them and shit like that. And like, where the history lies. And did you know, you, did you know they're like racist as fuck? Oh, yeah. Super yeah. fucking. I didn't. I didn't realize that until I lived there, dude. And I was like, "What the fuck, dude?" Like, I I knew and they'll get like super. Well, they get fucking pissed if you label like if you label them wrong. Yeah, like you like not cool. tell like a fucking <laughs> Japanese dude like, "Oh, are you Chinese?" Yeah, he'll be like, "Dude, fuck you." Yeah, yeah, dude. And it's like, God, man, it is so fucking wild. It's just, I mean, he's they, like, I know I I don't want to start anything, but I'll beat your mom's goddamn teeth. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> well, they just have like such a longer history there. Yeah, because America, America's like a relatively like still young country. Yeah, you know compared I mean? to everything else. Yeah. And so you talk about like these other people, like they, they, they have like dynasties and mm. shit, you know what I mean? So I don't know, man. Like it's a, uh, it's, I don't know, it's just crazy. This is insane. But then you, you come to America and then you always like hear about our history and shit. And it's just like, oh, you pieces of shit. And it's just like, what? But I mean, like, I don't it's, know. it's stupid. I mean, because I, we have fucked up history. Like, of course, else, but, but literally every other fucking country pretty much did the same kind of shit we did. Mm hmm. Like, that's part of being a goddamn civilization. Shit. That's part of progression, is you, doing fucked up shit and getting over it. But. <laughs> you want to know an interesting fact? Fucking currently, right now, today, is the highest rate of slavery it has ever been in the entire history of the world. Jesus. There are estimated to be 50 million slaves right now. And over, like, the majority of them are, like, sex slaves. Yeah, that's, that's what I was but, say. Yeah, but there's, there's tons of, like... like fucking labor camps and shit all over the world like people don't even like realize like a lot of the shit you buy in, there's like, a fuckload of it in africa yeah dude you seen the videos of that fucking cobalt mining yeah shit? dude fuck they got children that. going in those like 50 foot holes and they just like yeah. fucking spelunking just and they put them on a rope sometimes they don't come back up <laughs> dude god <laughs> like so hey bring me up. another one we gotta dump them over that fucking body 
God, dude, life, like some parts of the world, man, life is cheap, dude. Dude, or you know, like, so electronics, like yeah. whenever you, if you trash a laptop or whatever, all electronic parts eventually Shit. get sent back over there Shit. and they have people that it's, they live in these goddamn dumps that they're like, they burn that shit. They burn the materials that get, so like they burn the plastics off to yeah. get like the material, like the metals and other stuff, like the lithium and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But dude, like their life expectancy, like once they're there is like, I think it's less than six years. Like, and they're like, no fuck. matter what, and they're typically children that are working on that shit. Dude, that's so fucked And they up. make fucking pennies, but that's, that's all they have. And you know what's even more fucked up is like these big corporations like Apple and shit. Like I remember reading about it with the Cobalt stuff. Oh, they yeah. basically just pretend like they don't know. Dude, Coke and Hershey's do the same shit with food. Oh, was it the, the um, <clears throat> where they were, oh, yeah, yeah. I remember reading it. It was like the farms, like for the, the fucking uh, coffee and uh, yep. chocolate and shit, right? And fucking like Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. So it takes two times the amount of water to produce one can of Coke. So, like, for one can of Coke, it takes two cans worth of fresh water. Really? So, they'll go to undeveloped countries and open up Coke farm, Coca-Cola plants. Yeah. And they take... <laughs> yeah, you gotta clear that. They'll open up Coke farm. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, 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 Coca-Cola plants. Yeah, there you go. But, yeah, like, so, they'll, so they open up these big businesses and basically they suck the fucking land dry of water to make the Coca-Cola. So, then all of the surrounding areas, like, all the people... They don't have any fucking water to drink. They're just fucked. And they sell them Coke to drink. So, like... What? Yeah, really. <laughs> Dude, so, are you fucking serious? No, they, and they get... So, all the children and all the people in general, but mainly the children, they're addicted to Coca-Cola because that's their only, what, like, source of hydration. Which Coke uh, does not hydrate you; it fucks yeah. you up more. Yeah, dude. The so cavities, like, diabetes, yeah. like weight gain, all that. Shit. I mean, that yeah. shit's like really bad for you, man. So like, there's multiple, multiple. I know there's there's a place in Mexico. I've seen a picture of it. They have a huge Coca Cola factory, and it looks nice, like a big Amazon warehouse with yeah. Coca Cola. And the entire surrounding is just a goddamn derelict wasteland Shanty town. and fucking tarps and <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. And it's like dude. King of the Castle type stuff in there. But they all work for the Coca-Cola plant, but don't make a fucking thing. But they have god. no water, no resources. So they use all of the water. So then they can't have crops because they have no water. They have no irrigation. So they can't fucking grow food. So they're just totally fucked. So it's just like a domino effect of cluster yeah. fucks. And they've, Jesus I mean, like, and they, Christ, but man. Coke. They all, like, of course, they push that shit under the rug, and people don't oh, know yeah. about that. God damn, imagine being on that PR team. Yeah. Getting that report. We did what? He's like, yes, <laughs> but have you seen the new polar bear commercial? <laughs> ah, Coca-Cola. Dude, they, they, should those? Be, they should be back to polar bears, man. Those <laughs> things are cool, dude. Like, hanging out with Santa Claus and shit. Yeah, you yeah. Know? I do think the flavor of Coke has changed over the years. So, I, I don't really like, drink soda. So, like, in the last, like, I, I just quit, like, a long time ago. Like, it's just not, I just had a revelation. Like, it's just really not good. Yeah, for fucking me. It doesn't do shit over Yeah. So like in six months, I've only had caffeine twice, and it was it's kind of like a ritual that I have every time I go to the movies. Because you know I me, mean? I love movies. Uh, I get a large Coke. Usually, I usually try to get like a Mister Pib to have a Coke and a large popcorn, and I sit down and I eat all that shit before the <laughs> before the commercials are over. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I, by the time the movie starts, I'm halfway done with the popcorn. Always, always, yeah. man. It's just so good, dude. dude yeah, man. movie theater popcorn is fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I really. Uh, like, when I was younger and stuff, I used to drink Coke and all that shit. But, like, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you uh, the truth, man. Like, I actually think that they've changed the Coke formula over the years. You think to make it more addictive? Or, I mean, like, the OG Coca-Cola literally had cocaine in it. Yeah. But, I don't, I don't know. Back is under the glass wall. To make it more addictive. I mean, there's I, sneaky, I would be sneaky, willing, I would be sneaky, willing to sneaky. bet it has, it, I bet it is worse for you, as in it probably does have more sugar and fucking corn syrup and all that kind of yeah. nasty shit it's for fucking you. Fucking nasty. Like, I don't know, man. Like, <clears throat> the flavor changed when I traveled. I noticed that. So, like, when I was, like, in the height of my, like, traveling and stuff, like, like it, it would taste different in Germany. Mm -hmm. It would taste different in Canada. And then it would taste different, like, in the Netherlands and Belgium and France and all that shit. And the best tasting Coke I've ever had in my – Coca-Cola I've ever <laughs> had in my life yeah, was, was in the Netherlands. Really? Yeah. So, when I would drive up – because I lived, like, I don't know, like, 30, 45-minute drive from the border or whatever. Whenever I'd go there – um, I typically would go to like a small little college town called Maastricht. Shout out to Maastricht. Cool little place. All I'm saying, they got a nice university there. You can be a medical doctor in three years. But anyway, uh, I, I would just load Indians up. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I would just load up on like Cokes and I'd bring them back and I'd be like, holy shit. Were they in cans or bottles? Or it, was, it was bottles. Like, like one, plastic. One, yeah. Okay. Plastic one, one liter bottles. Gotcha. That's kind of crazy. Everything's like liters over there too. Yeah. Like, so like, I know... 
I know some of that is their regulations. Like, they're mm-hmm. not allowed to put as much sugar or whatever the fuck. So, like, have you ever heard? Well, okay, like, I think the worst drink is a Coke in America from McDonald's. Like, health wise or just yes. taste wise? No. Health-wise. Because I, they, have you ever had, like, have you compared a drink from McDonald's to, like, just, if, okay, so let's say you get a Sprite. You get a Sprite at McDonald's and you go get a can of Sprite out of a gas station. The one from McDonald's tastes better. Really? Because it has more. I, don't, I think they put more of the syrup stuff in there. They tweak like, that formula. Yeah, yeah. because they, they want you to, like, get more of it. Damn. Damn. Yeah, That's like, dirty. Yeah. Corporations that, always fucking with us, you know what I mean? Oh, for sure. Like, why but can't it just be legit, dude? Goddamn Americans, dude. That's why, I mean, it's America as a whole's fault because they get paid off. Yeah, and then we're just, like, fat as fuck here, too, dude. Like, I know, like, like, I know I'm, a, I'm not, like, in perfect shape. I know you lived all the fucking time. You were jacked. <laughs> but, like, uh, but, like, dude, like, man... Like, when I came back from Germany and I landed, I was like, what the fuck? Because that was the first time I'd been in America for years. Like, that was when I really saw what people were talking about. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. Like, we are, like, disgustingly fat. Like, and one... Which Germany is catching up. But... I, they're not... (laughs) uh, They, uh, tortoise in the hair, dude. (laughs) Tortoise in the hair, dude. Like... I mean, they got, don't get me wrong. I mean, like, you know, there's fat people in every fucking country. Oh, yeah. Right? But, like, here, it's like, it's like fucking everybody almost. Well, yeah, here it's like more of a abnormality to see a thin or fit person. Yeah. Whereas, like, well, over, then, the, over there, there is way more, or the, the playing field is way yeah. more leveled out. And then it's like, it, it's acceptable here. It's just like this disgusting slob. In Eastern Europe, that shit is looked down, like, that, that shit's looked down upon. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. If, you're, if you're a fat woman in Eastern Europe, like, you won't leave the house. Because you spent time, like, in Ukraine and stuff, right? Yeah. Well, obviously, before the war broke out. <laughs> yeah. Shit, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, man. I remember you saying, like, you were like, Yeah, like, like, Ukraine, hey. Latvia, Lithuania, Dang. Czech Republic, all of those, all of those, um, Croatia, all yeah. of those places, man. Yeah. Which, I don't know, but, like, living in England, going back to the food stuff, mm-hmm. like, you would go to a grocery store. And it would tell you, all, like, packed, like buying ground meat, yeah. beef. It would say where the farm was at, like, what was in, like, it was all natural shit. They didn't all have, information like, you needed yeah. to know was on that package. Like, you could literally look up the address and go find the farm that that cow came from. Nice. It was, and they didn't have, like, goddamn... Here it's just a mystery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's only until, I mean, they just passed the shit where now they're selling uh, the fake meat stuff on what? the shelf. Yeah, dude, it's not, it's like... There's it, zero it, meat in it, but it's meat. Are you talking about like the impossible or beyond meat shit or whatever? No, there's something else now. It's like, oh, I don't remember the don't name of me, it, don't tell me but it's shit, like, I, I believe it's just totally genetically modified, like genetic, <sighs> genetically made. Dude, no, no, what are we doing, dude? But I looked yeah. in the um, the fucking impossible burger because I, I, I look at all the nutrition shit. I like looking at the fucking labels and comparing stuff because I love it whenever they're like, oh, this is so fucking healthy. I heard it tastes like, like shit. If it tastes like meat. <laughs> You have to add some kind of fucking nasty filler shit because it's a substitute. If there's no yeah. meat in it, it can't taste like meat. Yeah. So you got to see, you got to see what it is. Yeah. But now this stuff is like, a, that stuff is just disgusting, man. Like, I'm not going to eat that shit. Like, dude, like, if I want to eat fucking vegetables, like, I'll go eat a fucking salad. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I don't put that I'll shit in my fucking burger. I'll fucking not <laughs> eat a goddamn fake meat thing. I don't know, man. That, some of that fucking vegetarian, vegan shit, let's take that shit too fucking far, man. Like, when you start fucking with the food that I eat, that's where I got a fucking problem. You Again, know what I mean? like, do whatever the fuck you want to do, but don't push it on me. Yeah. Like, I don't... Yeah, yeah man. Because, I mean, it's all about, like, the freedom of choice, but at the same time, it's like, Doc, I don't want to have this nasty shit in there. You know what I mean? Like, am I going to grow a third testicle? They don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> whatever. It's like, you know, I, I mean, I really think a lot of this shit that they're doing, man, I think it's going to come out, like, in a few years. It's going to be like, whoa. Like, how many times in history have we been told, like, Something was safe or it was okay, and then Dude, it comes out later. It's perfect like, example: Whoa. cigarettes. Yeah, <laughs> I said that shit was good. Do- doctor recommended smoke them up. Yeah, yeah. They try to suppress that fucking information. Didn't yeah. They? Oh god, dude. Like that was like a colossal fuck up. Like, colossal fuck up, dude. But big tobacco paid them motherfuckers. So that, I mean, yeah. and you know that fucking shit is still happening today, dude. This Absolutely, shit pisses dude. me off, man. It's like some fucking like. These corporations just paying off fucking people, dude. They dude. really are. That's like Joe Biden, dude. He got more money when he was running for president, right? Like, th- that's obviously this last time where he, mm. he, uh, he won. <laughs> so, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, he got more money from big oil than Donald Trump did. 
Fucking explain that shit to me. Dude, that's easy. Because Donald Trump has old side. He, like, they knew they didn't have to give him much money because he was already going to go for them anyway. They had to pay Biden off to be like, dude, please let us do some shit because I know you're going to fuck us in the ass. Yeah. I, so. I mean, dude, it's constantly fucking pharmaceutical shit. Dude, all that crap, but the dude. number one, like, business that lobbies, like, the people that give the most money is junk food. Really? Yep. More than fucking all, more than pharma, more than anything is junk food. What, that was one thing that I noticed, like, traveling and stuff. Like, I mean, they have junk food in every oh, western oh yeah. country yeah but dog like you cut like you come here like it's a whole different ball game here man like it's like this shit will fucking kill you <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it's, like i got that good good man this should knock you out it's like goddamn <laughs> double deep fried twinkie on a stick over here you <laughs> dude it's so i've seen shit like that at Hell fairs yeah, and man. stuff like, Be like get you some fried oreos boy dude, i've like, seen God, at a damn. goddamn at a fair there was a sign that said we deep fry anything and there was like people <laughs> in a line with just random foods just good fucking bring them, them, bring them a goddamn banana a popsicle fucking a meatball whatever the fuck you wanted in there God damn it. They had fried cotton candy. I don't even know how you can do that. How do you that. even do that? I don't know. They did it. <laughs> you ever seen that video of that fucking raccoon that's giving the cotton candy? Uh-huh. So, like, this guy, like, I don't know, it's like a pet raccoon or some shit. But the raccoon's, like, basically by, like, a stream or, like, a source of water, dude, mm-hmm. right? The guy's, like, giving this raccoon, like, cotton candy. He's, like, eating it or whatever. And then, like, I don't know, he, like, either the guy or the raccoon, like, puts the cotton candy in the water. And it just like dissolves, Dissolve, yeah. and the, the raccoon's like moving his hands around, and then he like pulls his hands out. He's looking at it like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like you can't understand like where it went. <laughs> it's like this total mind fuck. Or I don't know. I watch a lot of animal videos. Like Dude, that, raccoons man. are cool. They are, man. Like, they are. When, I, when I was a kid, my mom's friend had a pet raccoon. Oh no shit! His name was Rocky. Rocky the raccoon. Hell, dude, it's like a cartoon, like, dude. Yeah, she raised it from like a young, a young baby coon. And yeah. then as it got older, which I've heard this ever like ever coon like ever raccoon story that I've heard, <laughs> they tend to get mean. No matter what you do to them, they really? get mean as they're older. Oh, like shit. they just naturally turn. Like so. Anyways, I wonder what causes that? I don't know. I guess I guess because they're a goddamn wild animal. You can't get that out of them. But Probably has something to do with it. I know uh, one of my other friends. His uncle had a fucking raccoon, and he would give it beer. So you have a drunk, pissed off raccoon and trying to scratch your goddamn eyes out at night when you went to sleep. Holy he said shit, he would. Get, he said he woke up he, like he was asleep one time and he heard something and he woke up and that coon was like in the bed with him trying to get him. Oh, he like shit. freaked out and stood on the wall and be like, "Goddamn, a fucking raccoon!" <laughs> but yeah, man, them, them things are, they're they're cool when they're young, but they yeah. progressively. Get, I've never heard of a nice older pet raccoon. Yeah, damn. I had an aunt, man. She had a, she had pet squirrels. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Those so, would probably be nice, wouldn't they? Oh, they were the coolest fucking things in the world, man. They were the coolest things in the world. Like, um, uh, my uncle was, like, cutting down a tree or whatever. Mm. And then he found, like, they were, like, still, like, na- like oh, no no like, hair, like, like on them. Straight up yeah, newborns. Yeah, like, newborn, newborn. And so, obviously, she had, like, a bleeding heart or whatever. So, she's like, I'm going to take these in. Bottle fed them things. Yeah, bottle fed them, all that stuff. Raised them. And then, like, they would just, like, hang around. Like, dude, they would just run around. Like, they get on your head, your shoulders and shit. And they had, like, personalities and shit. And they were cool. And they were, like, totally trusting of humans. Like, there was no, like, no, oh, like the fucking put, put the food down and yeah, then I'll yeah. come get it or some shit like that, you know? They were like, what you got, man? Yeah. What you got? And then she had, like, a call. Like, a, like, a little, like, like, a little whistle she would do. Squirrel call. Yeah, squirrel call, dude. <laughs> and then so like when they got older, she just like put them outside. And so they would just would live in the trees by the house. And then she would go outside like when it was time to like feed them. And she'd do like a little call. And then you would just see these two squirrels like squ- like come down the trees. And they just run up like right there like on the patio. That's furniture. fucking cool, man. Yeah, dude. I was what like, did she feed them? Like nuts and shit? Or, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. cashews or? Yeah, it was like it was like some sort of like feed, like grain feed or some oh, shit okay. she like, had or whatever. But yeah, they were cool. And oh, then yeah. she would throw like a... Like, uh, like uh, pecans and stuff too in there and shit like that. You Give know? me a little, little something extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> cool. Squirrels reading fuckers, good. Man. It's cool little fuckers. I don't know, man. Animals are smart, dude. A lot more, a lot more smarter than what we realize too, dude. True. It's like you see those fucking orcas. I don't know if we talked about this on the last one. You see those orcas and they're like attacking their ships? No. I think it's off the coast of India, if I remember right, somewhere. But, uh. What are they doing to them? Well, one of these boats, and these are like normal smaller boats or whatever, fucked up an orca well. Cause it like hit it 
with its propeller or whatever. Oh, like, drove shit. Over it. Okay, yeah. And so, like, they, I mean, these things, like, travel in packs, right? And they're, like, massive and super dangerous. You're like, very you got one of our own. Yeah. <laughs> and so now, these any boats that go out there, like, they start bum-rushing these boats and attack and trying to rip the, pe- uh, the <laughs> propellers off these boats. And the people, there's, like, videos of people freaking the fuck out. Dude, dude. I can see, like, somebody with a small <laughs> fishing vessel and a goddamn orca just comes up and just slams straight on the middle of it and just blows the fucking <laughs> like, boat turn, Like, free willy, but yeah, only dude, makes it halfway. <laughs> <on> it. Yeah, <laughs> What's <laughs> up, oh, <suck>, motherfucker? <laughs> Yo, this is for T Dog. God damn it, bitch. We blow it. Those things are fucking great. You seen those videos where they're like hunting seals? Like, Dude, how? yeah. Or, apparently, orcas are like mean as fuck. They're like, I've seen shit. them like tear seals apart. Like, Dude, it's like, I was watching this video. It was like Jurassic Park, man. Like, every, like the first one, like when you re- when they realize the raptors are smart Dude, as fuck. They'll, they, fu- they'll kill sharks. Yeah. Like, they'll. Like, anything is on like the table. You say, they, they get in a pack. Like, yeah. A shark don't stand a chance to get in them motherfuckers. Dude, I saw one, like, they they had, there was a seal on a sheet of ice. They had broken it off. So, like, this sheet of ice is floating out by itself. And then, like, four orcas back up, like, well, they, they swim back. Mm-hmm. And then they form a line, and they start swimming as fast as they can. And one orca is waiting on the other side of the ice sheet. And right when they get to the fucking uh, sheet of ice, they dive down and hit, like, push down oh, with their like, it up. and it creates like a vacuum and so the seal like basically gets like <laughs> fucking like it rocks and the seal gets like tossed off like it gets covered with water gets tossed off and that orca at the end catches it and fucking just eats that shit god damn dude that's like the raptors in Jurassic Park dude. fuck yeah that. fuck that dude <laughs> shit man I think we uh, I think we hit our time man you wanna wrap it up yeah you wanna get us out of here all right, cool, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for uh, tuning in for another episode of Dumpster Diaries. As always, I've been your host, Justin Allen. And I've been Moses Wartooth. All right, tune in next week. <laughs>